Hello, my name is Evie Cuervo. Welcome to DeGiro Tech Talks. Let's take a trip down memory lane. If you're in the broadcast sector, raise your hand if you remember racing to meet the six o'clock news deadline with an editor cutting tape to tape. How about rushing to a breaking news scene to deliver a live report standing next to a satellite truck? Times have certainly changed, and a lot of time has been spent on advancing technology to support the broadcast sector, including DeGero. To chat more about how far the broadcast sector has come, I'm chatting today with DeGero Sales Director Michael Stanton. Welcome. Thanks, Evie. So let's go back a bit because you have a deep background in broadcast. You started as a production assistant. Uh, you moved on to assignment editor, to director of news technology. What stands out to you um, as far as how far this industry has come? Yeah, I mean, it's really changed a lot. Uh, you know, I saw started TV when I was in high school. I stuck my way in, right? So back then, we had one computer with internet, and that was all the newsroom had in the late 90s, right? So where it is today, where we're using DeGiro's news gathering technology out in the field to pretty much do most live things. You know, we're walking in protests, we're walking in marches, all sort of live events. It's really, it's really changed for the better. So let's give props to the satellite truck, because for many 100%. years, <laughs> that was the only way to get it a was story. the most reliable way. Exactly. Uh, but of course, now having the ability to go live remotely has really become the new standard really from anybody sure. who's in media or broadcast. So let's talk about what it actually entails and how smart blending technology plays a role in allowing that to happen. Yeah, what's really great is the satellite truck is much more useful now, right? Because we're providing it fast, high-speed internet. And not only that, this allows crews to take portable satellite dishes to blend with our, you know, INGO out in the field to be able to pretty much go live from anywhere. It's really changed. Let's talk about the Engo because it's really also come a long way for DeGiro. Yeah. There was, you know, people were at one point using cellular LTE. Now we've got 5G. What does that really mean? Yeah, I mean, I've seen the the DeGiro video transmitter change from a big box we used to have to carry in a Pelican case, this little tiny thing with 5G now. So it's really got the, the technology and encoding has gotten so advanced that it's crazy what these boxes could do compared to where they were 10 years ago. What do you think has been the biggest aha moment for the broadcast sector? Uh, in the last three years, taking into account the global pandemic? I think really the ability to go live from anywhere to really bring the story to the viewers directly. So it used to be, you know, you would do a live shot because you were tethered to a satellite or a microwave truck, and that was as far as you could go, right? As, as much cable as you had. Now pretty much you can take our box and go anywhere, right? With the addition of portable satellite, you can really be in a worldwide environment and go live anywhere at any time. It's really cool. What's the limit to it? Is there a limit to it? Sure, there's limits to every technology, right? But when used properly and in the right environment and adding the right connections, whether that's, you know, a Starlink or a KU band satellite or a KA band satellite, you can really almost go anywhere in the world. Do you think that, you know, as we see connectivity becoming really a way that people can do their business, um, how is that gonna be impacted when it's multiple people trying to go live at the same time? What are the alternatives? Yeah, I would say Jajiro does a really good job with congestion and control. That's something we put a lot of development resources in. So what that is, is that's the ability to, when you are in large crowds or congested environments, like a football game for the national championship or the Super Bowl, we have the ability to manage the cellular networks and satellite networks properly so you can ensure you can get that video out. You know, I think when you look at audiences and the way that they consume content uh -huh. now, it's completely changed. Many totally. people are not sitting watching. Six o'clock news, 11 right. o'clock news. So how do you tap into these future trends and apply connectivity to it? Yeah, and I would say what's really cool about that is, you know, appointment viewing it has definitely decreased. That's when people used to tune in to watch the 5 or 6 p.m. news. But now, think of news, it's 24 hours a day. So that court case that you were really interested in because it happened, you know, a mile from your house and it was high profile, you can actually watch the entire court case live because someone's able to bring a DeGiro technology to the courtroom. And now on their website, the station would stream the entire trial. So that's just a way that news has changed, right? But I think for the better, because you're actually able to access the content you want when you actually want it. What, what stands out to you in your career working with broadcast customers uh, and, and supporting them with connectivity needs? You know, tell me ab about a proud moment. Yeah, I mean, I love when stations push the envelope, right? So you think of, we have a transmitter, we have a mobile app, right? I've seen our mobile app used in an emergency of an airport evacuation, right? In the UK, I've seen our INGO go up into a plane and do a live report you know, something you can never do before. So I think when stations constantly are pushing the envelope, you know, a great story that I always think of is Denver 
large gas main was broken, right? They were evacuating neighborhoods. It was causing a panic. A photographer there used our iPhone app and set down his iPhone. They were the only station that had a signal of this massive event until the battery died. You know, of course, we can't do that. But I would say that's, that's one of the big ones. Thanks so much, Michael. For sure. To learn how to optimize your video mobile transmitter, head to Dejira.com.